today we raise the roof. <laughs> Up she goes. She's already everything is sitting on acro props and she's good to go. Let's do this. Extrusions just arrived. Um, that's all everything I need for the roof lift. So I'm going to uh, go on top of the ute and back down home and cut it up. The trickiest bit about this roof raise is maintaining the structural integrity both when we lift it and of course then again once it's up. So we've got this massive piece of aluminium here and that is essentially what holds the bus together. So when we cut through that, it's going to be quite compromised. So I need to make sure that that's going to be nice and strong, strongly supported as we lift. And then once it's up, we get a specialist welder in and he'll weld all that back together and make sure that we've got integrity moving forward. Don't want to be driving down the road and end up with a 12 and a half metre sunroof. aluminium to cut it's a hundred mil by 25 mil thick solid aluminium so the saw will cut it but just gonna hold on to it I'm cutting a 38 millimeter taper to follow the shaped sides of the bus onto what will become structural bracing for the three new slide outs these will be welded into place once the roof is raised. With our dads helping us so much, I'm more of a lackey these days. <laughs> You've probably seen me using this. This is a big wax stick that's for lubrication of the saw blade so that it doesn't, one, it doesn't heat up and two, uh, it gives a nice clean cut. This is what happens to the blade when you don't use it. So that's aluminium completely clogged up into the blade. I've got to watch I don't get the blade when I grab the aluminium now. And I need to get that out. I might need to do that with a file. Get that out because obviously once it's clogged up it can't cut anything. Wax on here too. Here it is. Look at the size of that. Wow. It just builds up aluminium. I'm here brushing away with the wire brush this afternoon. Getting all of the, there's a lot of the, these brackets are corroded, a lot of corrosion on them. So I'm just scrubbing them, there's so many of them. I've spent hours doing it today, so it feels really nice that every single little part of this bus has been touched by us and given love. When they go in, they go drop into the extrusion like that and then all you do is put tension on the bolt, screw, and it turns around and locks it in and then you tighten it up and it secures it very quickly and easily. No welding required. Our little minions. Aluminium minion. <laughs> that one's ready to go in. Only a hundred more to go. With the welder only a few days away, we made the cuts for the third and final slide out for the bedroom. Oh, 
Then we could make the last cuts to separate the entire roof from the rest of the body. There we go. Oh, you got it out? Yeah. It's done, yeah, true. Well, we have two pillars left in the middle of the bus. That's all it's holding up. We have a free roof. Free roof. A free roof. Oh, wow. What do you reckon? Want to go up? I'm really glad we're raising the roof, and at this point, there's no turning back. <laughs> there hasn't been any turning back for a while now. It is completely free, held up by eight acro props, and we've got some bracing on the front. <laughs> we've got Dan's mum and dad here to help us today. It's really exciting. We're all going to wind at the exact same time for, well, perhaps not so obvious reasons. Why are we going to wind at the same time, Dan? Because we don't want to bend the roof, mm -hmm. and we want it to go up straight. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. But, so. Okay. A full turn. Yep. And mush. Okay. Other side. Early morning. I haven't got round yet. Yeah, I'll do that one, Mum. That one. You come to the back. Yeah. To start with. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good. And one turn on the other side. And then one turn while we're here now. Yep. One more turn. Okay? Yep. Okay. One turn. Yep. One turn and another one. And a second one. One and two. Get the top of mine. Another half a turn, I think, yep. and it'll be it. Okay. Down a bit. So we're at the end of the reach of an acro prop. So I'll just push it in a bit further. So we just put another one in to support it, take the weight, while we reset this one. Good? Yep. These ones are easy because they're fixed to the top, they don't fall down. Yeah, they won't come down. <clears throat> yep. Three hundred up, one hundred to go. Check it. I can stand up with my hands above my head. Three forty. Three forty, both sides. I can do yoga now. Woo! <laughs> Starting to sound like an aerobics class. And one. And two. And one and two. Take 
that one there. We are in. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, great. A couple of mil and I'm ready to drop in on this. Yeah, Where well do the brackets that, go? That is good. Yeah, that's good. So where the, the brackets, brackets, the brackets, because these don't go on top of where they were. So wherever it goes, it'll go there, yep. and then the bracket goes in there. Uh -huh. So we've got to balance these perfectly. Yeah, we've got to make sure they they go perfectly in the right spot. But we'll bracket them in before we let the acros go. Come on, yeah. you silly thing! The last half a turn, you're not going to turn on it. Down on this or should I go up? Perfect. Yeah, you need to go up there. Yeah, hold that. So that's good, yeah? Good. Okay, well we'll move them as we need to. But there's our bus height. Holy wow. Oh my. <laughs> It's a long way up to the deck. Clouds. <laughs> I'm, Whoa. I'm six foot one and a half. And that's the, that's the roof. Yeah, now admittedly, you can nearly reach man. I can nearly reach. <laughs> <laughs> now admittedly, um, the floor is going to go up 50 mil and we'll talk about that in another video but uh, yeah that's still a pretty substantial height ceiling. Raise, yeah. How easy is that? All done. Putting them back up, yeah. Over there. That's a lot quicker and easier than welding. Climb aboard. It's been a big day. Crazy. Oh gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> it's really coming to life. It really is. Oh my. That is one heck of a roof raise. <sighs> wow. So we had a couple of reasons that we felt we had to do this roof raise. Number one was in order to have slide outs that finished with the windows above our head, we could see out of them. We had to go up because previously the window or the beam was down here, 400 mil. So we couldn't physically see out of it without ducking down. So that was number one. And pretty much the uh, best reason to do it. <laughs> what are you thinking about it? The best reason? Yeah. I can do yoga indoors. Rain, <laughs> hail or shine, I can exercise and move my body, which is, yeah, moving body is really important to me, so, yeah. And also, it's going to be really nice to have cabinetry above our heads and above the windows. Um, in the kitchen and in the bedroom and yeah it just creates a whole lot more space and I just can't wait to start smelling timber rather than cutting aluminium <laughs> and uh, wire scrubbing aluminium <laughs> really looking forward to timber because then I know we're on the home stretch yeah, we're still away from that but that's okay, we're getting there. We really are. This yeah. is incredible. I trust your design, Dan. I've just seen up here 
where this bed's gonna go. Yes, I saw that too. There's so much room up there now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy we did it. That was another one of the reasons for the bed to be able to fit up there. Um, yes. Thirdly, up the back here where it does step up, we couldn't previously stand up here without ducking and now I can stand up here and still put my hand up. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. So this, this is the bedroom that we're in and uh, it's nice to have that height there as well. Happy camper. So we've got two days before the aluminium welder comes. We've got a lot of work to do to frame this out now before he gets here so that he can do the structural elements uh, like up here for example. There's a billet of aluminium to go in there which will strengthen that up and then pieces to go in there and obviously right up the back. Can I have this light? I've got this light yet. Yeah. Um, up the back corner there's a lot of aluminium missing there <laughs> currently. So that's all got to be filled back in. So got a lot of work to do in the next couple of days. But it's looking great. Looking great. Well, hope you're enjoying this. I need to get going because our Norwegian salmon is defrosting. Oh, dinner's going to be ready in 20. <laughs> 30, well, yeah, 21 plus to, uh, preheating. Norwegian salmon. Thank you. We're going to have some protein from the ocean tonight. What are you talking about? You Thank don't you ever need Earth. preheating. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Good night. That's all that's holding up. Except me. <laughs> 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 and uh, I have a recording here now and uh, would you like to say something? Just a shout out to all the people I love. I love you. Now that's a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> Put your finger there and tell me when it's getting tight. Now! <laughs> <laughs> that wire brush is really noisy, is it? <laughs> You boys are really noisy on the Cipro. <laughs> 300 up, 100 to go. 315 actually. <laughs> 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 I can touch too. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> well, I can nearly touch. <laughs>